Um, you know, I, I was I really respect Albany. We were anticipating um, a good opponent on um, their discipline. Their back four is hard to break down. They're smart um, with their holding mid. So, you know, it took us a while to break that down and we knew we would, but I was just so proud of the girls because, I mean, you're in the NCAA tournament, you want to win. Having patience is like a ridiculous request at times. Um, and they are extremely patient and, uh, yeah, the reason I have Andy up here is that she was ridiculously good today. I mean, her first touch was incredible. And the reason we were able to make them chase and chase and chase in order to break them down was because, um, you know, Andy was just amazing on the ball, her ability to spray the ball from side to side. Um, and that just, you know, you're tiring some really good players out by Albany. We knew their best players were their um, front three, and we just wanted them to chase us. And I thought we did a good job of that for about 25 minutes. Um, and then we were able to, to find some momentum going forward. Andy, from a team's perspective, you guys came off with kind of a tough loss against Memphis in that championship <clears throat> match. Um, how did that prepare you to come into this game hungry for five goals? Um, it really motivated us to like get the W. And we knew that we had to keep the intensity high. And I think we did a pretty good job tonight to keep the intensity high because we knew we would have to keep it high. And Coach, do you feel like every minute of that game, they were ready and like pressuring? You know, do, do you feel like you saw that from them, that high intensity? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we made some changes, but more um, the changes were a little bit more to get girls on the, you know, on the field that we felt like had also contributed and that we want to keep them motivated for the future. But um, yeah, I, start, I thought that starting group kept their intensity high and, uh, you know, they, I thought we were in control of the game. How happy were you to see Jordan Tuttle get a goal? <laughs> you can't get like much happier than that. Yeah, Come here, like it was like a team victory. Yeah, when she scored Senior the goal. score. Yeah, it's just so amazing. Yeah, and getting getting, Ka getting Cass and Hannah Siebold on the field was nice, and it, the three of them went in there and did great. I mean, they always do really well when they get on the field. But Sister yeah, Becca, so. oh, Bex, Bex did yeah. great. Oh yeah, Bex Sister got the Becca, assist. So we're just really it's, happy with it. Yeah. So what can you take from this game going forward into next weekend? You know, just confidence. I think the difference between an, uh, you know, a good USF team and a great USF team is the level of confidence. It's all about you know, their mentality. Um, if, there's, if they believe in themselves, then their feet are excellent because we have like, some really high technical players on the pitch. And um, when we're keeping the ball and, and using that confidence, then it opens up doors for, our, you know, we have some excellent dangerous attackers too. So just trying to combine those things. <laughs> Um, also, Kelly Burney had an assist on Evelyn's goal. She sent that ball away from the back line. Um, is that something that you guys planned for, or was that just a really good counter? How do you feel about that? I mean, Kelly's balls are always like awesome, and like we have scored like this before. And Evelyn is so quick, so it was like meant to be. <laughs> yeah, she's smart. She'll see that opening. Um, just if the back line cheats a bit, and then you know. We're, you're keeping it, keeping it, and then Bernie will notice that moment that they cheat and she'll find mm -hmm. Evelyn, and uh, Evelyn's good at punishing you in those moments. <laughs>